The Jamaican airwaves have been blessed with some of the most talented and entertaining local artists over the years. However, some of them have virtually fallen off the face of the earth. They have disappeared from the entertainment scene. Have you ever wondered what happened to some of them? Well, wonder no more. Today, a glimpse of Jamaica will give you an update on some of them. This will be part one of two. Come and see what you've been missing On a little slice of heaven It's the only place for living But living Hey guys, welcome to A Glimpse of Jamaica. Today, I will reveal to you the whereabouts of 10 Jamaican entertainers or artists who have fallen off the entertainment scene. So, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. Remember to like and share this video and please remember to turn on your post notification bell so you will not miss any of the exciting videos i have in store for you you will be among the first to be informed as soon as they are posted so without any further ado let us get right into the video starting off the list we have Mega Banton. His fans have been longing for some new music from him for years. In 2018, he released a new EP, but it never really take off as persons had expected. These days, he spends his time between Jamaica and California. He claims that he's still performing, but he mostly performs overseas as some people who have heard him they said that his new crone or his new performance is nothing like the hardcore dancer kroner that we knew back in the days when he had hit songs like sound boy killing tell a girl chill and wrong all right those were the days when he was in full swing. These days, he's enjoying spending quality time with his family while trying to make a comeback in the music industry. Next, we have Terror Fabulous. This dancehall artist has had a rough couple of years, but it seems as if things are slowly turning around for the better for him these days because he is now doing a few gigs here and there which sometimes even takes him overseas back in his heyday he had a few big hits especially his mega hit action which he collaborated with nadine sutherland you know that one the action not a bag of mouth yeah he also had other hits like gun jezebel and yoda ball to his credit he has had four studio albums under his belt and was doing extremely well until he disappeared off the scene in early 2000 these days the singer battles an undisclosed medical illness and is a regular hangout at the RC1 studio in Portmore. Next one on the list is Junior Cat. Who remember this veteran singer? Well, he is a younger brother of that legendary dancehall DJ Super Cat with lyrics with hit singles like Anorexia Body. My gun mouth and dead yago dead. He's now all about conscious lyrics. In 2016, he released an album entitled All About Jaworks. And this was done for a producer in France. So it was not really popular in Jamaica. These days, he owns a record producing company where he produces 
music for other artists and also himself so he's still in the music business although he's not making music for the Jamaica airwaves as he usually does fourth on the list is Diana King who remembers that name back in the 1990s she gave us chart topping songs like shy guy and say a little prior well these days king is now married to her partner she still makes music and distributes them on itunes so who knows maybe one of these days another hit single could be in the making halfway through the list we have patra Patra is one of those veteran, those pioneers in female dancehall music. Patra has three great albums under her belt, but somehow she took a hiatus from the music industry. These days, the DJ who turns 50 in November is back in Jamaica, having married Jamaican Donahue Jarrett, who is the son of Terence Jarrett, the founder of Altman Court Hotel. And she and her husband now operates the Chateau 7 restaurant at Red Gallery in Stony Hill. She also performed at the Powerful Men and Women, that charity concert that is held annually. Well, she performed in 2017 on the show. So she has been doing a little entertaining here and there. And she hinted that she still has a lot in store for the music industry. In fact, since here in July, she has collaborated or Tanya Steven drafted her to collaborate on a single on her Tanya Steven album. And the single is entitled Wait Till Me 50. So she and Tanya, Patra and Tanya do a single and from the feedback it sounds like it is another hit. So make we wait and hear how it sounds. No? Then next on the list, how could we forget Nadine Sutherland? She won the Tasty's talent competition at the age of 12 and became a teenage singing sensation she had that mega hit single with terror fabulous action and there have been and she has had many other credible songs in her catalog these days she's still singing but in addition to her entertainment career she has attained a master's degree in cultural studies from the University of the West Indies. Apart from a few years ago when she was a judge on the Digicel Rising Stars, she has been keeping a very low profile, and just hanging around her circle of friends and family. Next on this list is Sister Nancy, or some people know her as Mama Nancy. Sister Nancy is known as the first female dancehall or the first female DJ dancehall artist. She had that mega hit, Wata Bam Bam, and then she did other great songs like One Two and Transport Connection. Did you know that she is the sister of Brigadier Jerry? Well, that was news to me until when I did my research. And another fun fact, she is the first female dancehall artist to ever perform on Sunsplash. After migrating to the US, she took a hiatus from music and started working in the secular world. In fact, she worked in the banking industry for years. These days, she has left the secular world again. She has left the banking and is back into the music business full time. She performed in 2017 at Rebel Salute and she has made other performances since and she is silently working and her comeback into the music industry and staying with the ladies 
we're going to find out the whereabouts of Lady G. Well, not much is known about her these days. Anyway, Lady G claimed that she has never left the entertainment scene, although virtually nothing is heard of her in Jamaica. However, she says she has plans to make her presence be felt once more on the Jamaica airwaves and the entertainment scene. Back in the days, she had hits like Nuff Respect, Legal Rights, Round Table Talk. Then she was a household name, especially with her collaborations with Papa San. These days, she is slowly making her way back on the Jamaican entertainment scene. She performed at Rebel Salute and she have made a few other performances. And so her fans and the Jamaican public at large anxiously awaits another big hit or one of those great stage performance which she is known for. So winding down this list now, we could not complete it without a singer who everybody wants to know as Tiger. They say cats have nine lives. And that goes for Tiger. Because he was one who was in the heyday of his career until that fateful day in 1994. When he met into that near-death accident, since then his life has never been the same. When Tiger was riding high, he had hit singles like No Wanga Got, Poppy Love, uh, Come Back To Me. Tiger now lives overseas and he had been making a comeback because he performs with the band The Tiger Cubs, which comprise of his children. But recently, about a year or so ago, he suffered a massive stroke and that has totally taken him out of the business again. Not sure if he will be able to make another comeback. Let's hope he has reserved life. One more of the nine is there. But for now, he is out of the music business because of that massive stroke he suffered recently. And closing off the list, we have Red Rat. Red Rat burst on the music scene in 1996 with a hit single called Shelly Ann. And he also had another hit called Tight Up Skirt, which has been sampled by so many other artists, including Chris Brown and Samantha J. These days, Red Rat resides in Florida where he owns a music studio. He works mainly with the Latin, yeah, the Spanish community, where he is a music producer, a writer, and he still performs also. So that concludes part one. Stay tuned for part two, where we will go in search of artists like General Trees, Brigadier Jerry, Tifa, Bling Dog, and you know a whole lot more who were doing so well and then they just disappeared off the scene so guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video